This is the third video of the Aggregate Demand and Aggregate Supply series, which is uh, Unit 2.2 .2 in the IB Macroeconomic Syllabus. This is video number three, and in this video I will explain the shifts in the aggregate demand curve that are caused by changes in investment spending by firms. The learning outcome for this video is to explain how the aggregate demand curve can be shifted by changes in investment due to factors that include interest rates, business confidence, technology, business taxes, and the level of corporate indebtedness. So, let's get started. Um, a quick refresher of what investment spending means. It is basically the addition of capital stock to the economy, and it's carried out by firms. There are two types. Replacement investment is any spending on existing capital to maintain its productivity. So capital that you already have, that you spend on it, you kind of maintain it, and this is to maintain its productivity. Or induced investment, this is spending on capital to increase output because there's an increase in overall demand in the economy. It's when businesses invest um, to respond to an increase in demand for their product. This is investment spending. So the first factor that causes shifts in investment spending and therefore shifts in the aggregate demand curve is interest rates. When interest rates fall, businesses tend to borrow more because that means they repay the money um, back at a lower interest rate. So the cost of borrowing is cheaper. This tends to increase um, investment spending and therefore aggregate demand increases and the curve will shift to the right. The opposite is true. When interest rates rise, the cost of borrowing rises. So businesses tend to borrow less and therefore invest less and aggregate demand decreases and the curve shifts to the left. Um, a lot of business investment spending is done through borrowing and that's why investment spending is very responsive to the level of interest rates. The second factor is business confidence. When business confidence is high, um, they have high expectations and they see um, a, an overall increase in economic activity, they tend to invest more. Um, so investment spending increases and aggregate demand increases and the curve shifts to the right. The opposite is true. When business confidence is low, investment spending decreases and aggregate demand decreases. This often happens during recessions. Um, businesses tend to invest much, much less during um, recessions. The third factor is technology. Um, if there are improvements in technology, this means that there's an increase in productivity. Uh, this encourages businesses to invest more, so investment spending increases and aggregate demand will increase and shift to the right. Uh, the opposite is true. If there's a deterioration in technology, there's been a, a fall in productivity. So investment spending will decrease and aggregate demand will decrease and the curve will shift to the left. Another factor is business taxes. When business taxes fall, say the government wants to encourage businesses to produce more, um, so they cut business taxes, corporate taxes, investment spending will increase and aggregate demand will increase. The aggregate demand curve will shift to the right. The opposite is true. When business taxes rise, so the governments raise the level of corporate taxes, investment spending will fall and aggregate demand will decrease. Um, businesses will either invest from money that they borrow or from retained profits. So if business taxes rise, that means they have less retained profits uh, to invest. So this leads to a decrease in investment spending, and the opposite is true. The last factor is the level of corporate indebtedness. Um, if businesses, um, so the less debt that businesses accumulate, if they are less indebted, the more they have that they can afford to spend on investment. So investment spending will increase and aggregate demand will um, increase and shift the demand curve, aggregate demand curve to the right. And the opposite is true. The more debt businesses accumulate, the less they can spend on investment. So investment spending will decrease and the aggregate demand um, will decrease and the curve will shift to the left. So this is again um, what happened in the one of the things that happened during the global financial crisis in 2008, a lot of businesses suddenly realized that they have a lot of debt that they can't repay. So that means there's, they had much, much less that they can spend on investment, which led to a big decrease in aggregate demand. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.